I cannot begin to what I just saw last night. What I saw last night from the Philadelphia 76ers. You know, the one dude I will get rid was Joel Embiid. Okay? He was really the only one who was trying to do some shit. But for the rest, that was just straight up lazy. And I mean just straight laziness, man. It's like, it's like, and people might say, well, it's a couple of days out. That too. And also, here's the thing, man. They came up, the Sixers, they came into this game. They get, oh, it's the Celtics. Self, self they don't got Kyrie. They don't got Hayward. We got this team. It's like, that's what they had. That was their mindset. That was their freaking mindset. It's like they thought they were just gonna come into this team, come into this team's house in motherfucking Boston, one of the most loudest places in sports history. Okay, where it's football, bo baseball, um, hockey, football, where it's love, any of those sports, it's always gonna be loud. And they just played straight garbage. And what did, what did Brett? And what did, um, what did Rozier, Hoyford, and Tatum did? They just destroyed us. They just destroyed the heck out of these guys. It's like, and also the defense. Oh my fucking god, the defense was straight garbage, man. It was like, what the fuck? We must be had had one of the best defenses in the NBA, and they just turned it into a complete shit show. It was like, Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Jesus fucking. Oh my god. It's like, this is the shit that really got me. This is what really scared the heck out. This is what I was afraid of, okay? Dumb coming off the screen. You would think they would take this game seriously, but no. Okay, it's like, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm gonna tell you this, okay? It's like, if they, if the Celtics, well, I pray to fucking God, they better not. If the Celtics fucking sweep us without Kyrie and Gordon Hayward, just think what they would do to us. If they did have those two, my fuck, it wouldn't even be a question. We would, we would, we would be begging for get to get LeBron James. I don't give a fuck what anyone has to say. Okay, if we couldn't beat that, if we could, if we literally play like this for the rest of the series, then, which I doubt we will. Don't worry. Okay, I get it. it's only game one. Okay, I get it. only game one. Okay, but the same time, man, it's like. It's like you have to come after this team. After what they just did last night, it was just fucking humiliating. Okay, humiliating. So many teams had done sweeping, sweeping the Celtics. Heck, I didn't say we we're gonna sweep the Celtics. I see, I can see this game being a seven-game series. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ, bro. It's like Jesus fucking Christ. It's like. Of course, you got guys like Don Mitchell throwing Ben Simmons and shit over the whole fucking thing. It's like, motherfucker, worry about your own shit, okay? Worry about your own shit. You got James Harden to fucking deal with. Who's gonna expose your ass? But that's another story. I'll, remember, I'll get to the, I'll make that in another video. But still, man. It's like, Brett Brown, you better get this, you better get this team shit together. Okay, for the next, on um, Thursday night, for the next two days, you better get this team training, ready, take this team fucking seriously. Alright? I don't care if it's 24 7, you better get this team's defense ready. You better, better, better start keep fucking practicing on the fucking free throws. And someone might tell me where, when Markel Fultz is gonna play. Play again, like, Jesus, he's been out for like, he's been, he's only played one game in the Miami Heat. And Sixers series, right? Like, I heard he had some strain in his shoulder. I don't know. Holy, got the same shoulder. But still, someone might tell me what the hell is going on with Markel Fultz right now. Because, like, I don't know what the heck is going on. And also, so, so, Dario and Ursan, what the fuck? Okay, remember everybody who was shooting the three. What the fuck? Well, I should just say the, tr or should, should I say shooting bricks? Okay, because what the fuck was that last night? You guys combined for like 0 and 11? 0 and fucking 11? For Ursan and Dario, I mean. But, but still, man, what the fuck was that? It was like, and you know, tell me that, Ben Simmons, Ben. Seven turnovers. Seven fucking turn, turn, turnovers. Were you trying to get a quadruple double with turnovers, man? Hmm? Not even you. 
Not saying you were close to getting triple double, but still, what the fuck was that performance? Hmm? It's like, like I said, what I saw from this team was putrid, laziness, cockiness, and just lack of fucking effort. It was like, Jesus. And it was really getting hard to watch. I was, I, I, and I just looked back and I said, I missed Monday Night Raw for this. Like, I know certain times Raw could be shit, but still, this would be, that would be way better to look at this performance. Like, what the fuck? And here's the thing, man. This game, throughout, like, the three fucking quarters, throughout the fourth, three, and four, half of the fourth quarter, right? This game was by ten. Okay, the, the Celtics were leading by 10 the whole game. Okay, it's like we have plenty of chances to come back. Plenty of chances, but... They just said, you know what? Fuck that. We gotta get him to paint and shoot more. Rozier, fucking monster. I will give him credit. He's a fucking monster. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, Jesus. Man, I really don't know what the fucking say. Okay, Thursday night in Boston, fucking Boston. Like, I fucking hate the Boston Celtics with a fucking heartbeat, okay? I fucking hate that team more than life itself. Well, not actually, I'm gonna take that back. I hate the Lakers more than life itself. Fuck that team. But still, man, fuck the Celtics. But I will give them fucking credit, bro. It's like, it's like, I gotta give them fucking credit. This team is a hell of a dynasty. I don't give a fuck with anyone else. There's... The most dominant dynasty, most dominant t sports team dynasty of all time. Okay, it's not even a fucking question. Even though, even though LeBron has fucking owned them for the last couple of years, but still. But still, man. Ben Simmons, Dario Sarge, Joel Embiid, Reddick, Covington, Urson, McConnell. Reddick, if I just said that, Bellinelli, and most of, and also, hopefully, Markel Fultz. Now, remember, I'm not going to talk about Markel Fultz since he didn't play, so he was his fault. But for the rest of those players, get your fucking shit together, okay? Because you already know, okay? On Thursday, they are go the Celtics are going to try everything they do to play like they did last night. All right? So you, kn and you know that's what's going to happen, so you better be fucking prepared. Alright, and here's the thing that scares me, head grab me with the Celtics right now. If Kawhi Leonard doesn't stay with the Spurs right now, stay with the Spurs this offseason, what if the fucking Celtics got his got his ass? Then I'll be saying, you guys better get fucking LeBron right now. Okay? And also, use that pick, use that first round pick on a very good ass fucking player, good ass defensive player. There's one player I saw from um, Villanova, but I'll talk, but I'll talk about him when the NBA draft is coming nearby, which is basically next month. But still, like I said, to the for the Philadelphia 76ers, get your fucking shit together, all right? But tell me what you thought about the game last night. And tell me what you think the Sixers need to do.